Hey guys, it's Dion from Demostech and today we are checking those kitchen screwdrivers Flat and Phillips. So first of all, my friend got those and gave me to review them. And honestly, I don't think they are that good. Now, they are very small, so I tried to actually put them into the Keysmart Pro, but they are too big for that. I mean, they just cannot operate inside, it's just too thin for them. And when you actually try to put those, it just won't work. I mean, maybe you could extend that, but I don't have any extensions for that, so I cannot put them there. So, let's compare those with one of the Keysmart all tools, that multi-tool that was called Dino, which I actually carry every day. And also, let's compare them to a regular screwdriver. For that, we'll have to print two subjects. So, let's print those. So, this is a regular meter, and that one is just a US to EU plug, which has a screw here. So, let's just try to unscrew some of those and see what we can do with that. So, uh, let's move everything aside and try to unscrew one of the screws of the meter and see how it works. I don't have enough torque. Let's try the center one maybe. Okay, the center I can move. And honestly, this flat fin here, so as you can see, that one is pretty flat. This one is actually comfortable to hold. Now, if it's on, your, on the keyring on your kitchen, it probably won't be that comfortable. But this way, it's actually pretty okay. So, yeah, I could move that one. Let's try with the dyno. And actually, the dyno, well, maybe you have shorter range, but you can still move those because you have a torque from the side. So that's kind of okay, I guess. But I want to uns try to unscrew that screw that I couldn't unscrew before with the other screwdriver. Okay, that one. Let's see if I can unscrew it. No. Oh, yeah, okay. So if you actually do it correctly, you have enough torque. So that's great. We can do that with that. So you can see, it seems that we have more torque with the dyno. That's good. But with that one, it was much more comfortable after the first torque. So I would say that one is more comfortable, but less powerful. That one is less comfortable, but more powerful. And obviously, just for a small comparison. Not? Yeah. Okay, so I'm in front of a camera standing on the side, so it wasn't that comfortable, but if you press enough, it's okay, and keep in mind that this meter is a little bit not that flat, so yeah, that one no issue, obviously. Let's actually get them back. And let's also just for comparison try that one. Now that one is pretty much easy, no issue, I, I already tried it, it's just not that hard. Now here we have a little bit disadvantage for the dyno, because we can't go all around because of those pins. But it works. Now for that, it will actually be a piece of cake probably. Yeah, especially if there's nothing closed that much, it's a piece of cake. I'm going to disassemble it totally. Okay. So let's conclude this. Those kitchen screwdrivers are okay. I mean, they are cool, they are good for those situations that you are stuck into something and you need to unscrew something or screw something right now. Those will be good. Will they be better than that one, the dyno? I cannot say. I would prefer the dyno to be honest. I mean, it has more tools, it has the same Phillips and the flat screw, so I'd probably go with the dyno, but those are much cheaper and easier to get. And you'll see links to Aliexpress and maybe Amazon if I'll find. They should be very cheap. Now, I didn't actually check with my friend how much did he pay for them, but I think I saw those for very cheap price. So, 
those are more affordable. But for the regular good use, you'll always prefer a normal screwdriver. Now, uh, I wouldn't do that video, to be honest, if I wouldn't be planning on something. And keep in mind that this is sort of a teaser to a video that will come soon, I hope so. It depends on shipping and stuff like that, but you'll have to wait and see. But for now, those are pretty cool and very cheap, so you might want those. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.